Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dave. Today I have the Guild 12 string out, which means today we're going to look at a song by Supertramp. I love the band. I love this song. People have asked me for it, and um, I don't know why, because there's a lot of people that teach it, but I teach it as well, and so we're going to learn it the way I play it, which I think is pretty much the way Roger played it back when he first recorded the song. I've seen him play it recently, and it's not exactly the same. There's a couple of things he does different now, um, but it, it's all close enough. So the song is in D. It's going to start A7 to D. Easy enough. G to A7. Now G to D. the lyrics start give a little bit and we just keeps doing this now we get into the change so it goes the G to the B minor. E sus4 to an E, and then he hits an F sharp there. G. To what we'll call um, an A6 sus4 to an A7. And this is the upper A7, but it's still an A7. So one more time from B minor. Time that we need. So now the drums kick in. And it does the same verse. Back to the B minor. Now to the instrumental, F sharp minor, B minor, G, C, G. So what happens there is this is like an A7, A7 sus4, A6 sus4, A7 up here, and then back down, and then again, and one more time, and to end it, he slides up here to this G, which is the middle finger on the ninth fret and your first finger on the eighth fret and then a7 d and back to the final verse give a little bit minor
So this time, before going to the next section, instead of going up to this G, he ends it on the D7 here, which is like, just slides it up to the seventh fret. So it's so. like, And now we come to this new section. We have this D. And what that is is D to G, A over D, all of them under D. So it's D, G over D, A over D, G over D, D. Two, just pressing on the first fret on the second string here. C over D. Adding the pinky. Still C over D, but it's like a C5 over D. G. D. Again. Now that's going to happen four times. Last time. Now after four times, it's going to do the tag with the C the C5 and the G twice. A bit of love. Then it's going to do the walk down. C add nine, or basically like a G over C, a G over B. This you can call an A7 sus4. To a G, A7, and then the octave D. Now at the end there, he may do the way he always does it, which is um, I don't know. I like the way it sounds doing it this way here. But I, I think there's a second guitar. It sounds like there's an electric guitar playing clean, kind of noodling in between. And I think he's hitting notes on that. And there's um, like a Wurlitzer keyboard going on that's playing. That's also hitting notes. Makes it hard to hear what the guitar is actually playing. But I watched him from his show in the late 70s, early 80s. And um, he's just always doing this. Anyway, it's a beautiful song. Great record. I love Roger Hodgson. If there's another song I can show you, just let me know. I was watching when he does... Um, I could see him from the back of his hand, roughly where he was, and I could hear the note. So that was live. Because on the record, it was really hard to hear what he was playing there. And then um, when the second time when he comes up and he's just... That's a nice tension that goes to that. Um, now, when I play it with two guitar players, what I like to do is I play... I usually won't bring up my 12 string. So the other guitar player will be playing the... And I play that part here. And what that is, is that's like a C to a G the way I showed you the first time is really what he's playing on the record I hope that helps everything you're trying to do with the song and as always very good